click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the chapter to deal with the transmission of microwave signal with the help of strip line family. So strip line family is nothing but the transmission lines, essential modifications from the coaxial cables and the two wire transmission line we can say here that we have already addressed and having a simple comparison with the micro strip line and the original strip lines there. We have solved four selected problems based on to the understanding of this transmission line and in the previous video considering the diameter and that of the losses here we have the formulation for characteristic impedance. So let us make the use of that characteristic impedance for micro strip line to determine the value for given micro strip line. So here we have been provided a problem statement. It starts with a certain micro strip line that has following parameters listed as epsilon suffix r is equal to 5.23. Next to that we have H is equal to 7 mils, T is equal to 2.8 mils, W is equal to 10 mils and we are asked to determine the value of characteristic impedance head 0 for the given transmission line. So the problem is very straightforward and simple. We have been provided only the four values to be the given details here and only one parameter Z0 is to be determined which is called as characteristic impedance very very necessary to match at the load while we want to have maximum power transferred over such a transmission line there. So now as we see here the various values of parameters that just now we have in the problem statement we have the very important H is equal to 7 millis here whereas the value of w is equal to we have 10 millis here so here we can make the use of condition that it is h is less than that at of 0 0.8 times w so w is 10 if you multiply it with 0 0.8 it will be simply 8.0 here and 7 is of course less than that so in such a situation, the characteristic impedance that we have derived in the previous video, Z0 is given by the expression 87 divided by square root of epsilon suffix R added with 1.41. And this is in multiplication, the ratio with the natural logarithm ln of the square bracket that involves we have 5.98 times small h to the numerator whereas 0 0.8 times w added with small t in the denominator here. So here we require epsilon r. It is there in the problem statement. The value of epsilon r is equal to we have 5.23. Next to that we want h 7 millis. We want w. 10 millis we want a t so the t value is also given t is equal to 2.8 millis here so now we can substitute all the values and get the required answer for characteristic impedance z0 so therefore to the next step we get z0 equated to 87 divided by we have square root of 5.23 added with 1.41 into ln of we have 5.98 into 7 divided by 0 0.8 into 10 added with 2.8 here the bracket is completed so here we can take the ratio of the denominator numerator we have represented and take the natural logarithm finally multiplied to this ratio. So the calculation at the end is obtained with the value of Z0. The value is 45.78. So as this is characteristic impedance, impedance is to be measured 
and represented in terms of ohms. So this is the value we outline for the problem statement. So thus we have determined the value of characteristic impedance Z0 for the given micro strip line. So by the next lecture we shall be continuing with the same chapter to address the power losses associated with the micro strip lines there. So I hope you enjoy learning for the topics of microwave engineering subject for more details and the knowledge if you want to have you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.